That's for both teams. First for Los Angeles. And manning the middle, a champion in his lone season in Kentucky. And the 2012 number one pick overall, shot blocker extraordinaire Anthony Davis. And it's LeBron James. And it's Prince in at the power forward position. And for Oklahoma City. Put together a great team, fans can get a little wild. When you put together a great team that's exciting to watch too, then they really get wild. And that's what you have to deal with when you go to Oklahoma City. A great team with terrific fans. And it's the Thunder with the ball. No good from Alexander. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. A shot's good from LeBron. And back to these great fans in Oklahoma City. They hosted the Hornets for one season in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, you recall. And Steve really showed what a great crowd they could be for a team. Kevin, I agree. And I, I think that season when they hosted the Hornets, I think that showed the league that Oklahoma City was ready uh, to become a franchise. And that's why the, the move from Seattle to Oklahoma City was allowed by the league because the city had proven uh, that they would support the club. A three-pointer, no good. On defense, the Lakers. They set the screen. Passes Holbrook. Launches a three. No luck. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Back to Russell. With the shot. Good on the jump shot. Thunder have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Here's Torch. No good on the triple. Well, I hope they start getting warmed up here soon. That's 0 for 4 to this point. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, I briefly spoke with Oklahoma City's head coach. I asked him if he had a plan for all the speed he'll be up against, and he told me a key would be transition defense, saying speed shows up most in the transition game, and we feel if we take that away from them, we have a major advantage. Back to you guys. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. And so here is Oklahoma City after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Shot clock at six. Giddy, he's guarded by Russell. Good on the shot. Well, we needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Thunder with the rebound. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Here's Torch, and he hits it to tie the game up. Los Angeles is gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. LeBron outside, Russell. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Reddish, that's in there. Davis with the assist. No matter who it is, that kind of defense is not going to cut it. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two or six in the field. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Holmgren. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Back to Russell. There's the three. Herger. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Robinson with the block. Torch covered by LeBron. Is a three. They get it again. And the pass, Holmgren. Here's Torch. Knocks down the three ball. He's got five. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. So timeout call here. The first for Los Angeles. You know, last season, a lot of folks had the Lakers picked as the super team in the West, the team that would maybe challenge Miami and LeBron, but from the start, it just never was 
a cohesive group and really had one of the most disappointing seasons in the Lakers history. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Russell gets it to go from beyond the arc. Russell's got five. A little confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. There's 117 left to play here in the first. Six to shoot. Number 22. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Clark, as you said, the Lakers had a lot of lofty expectations put on them, but you never know what's going to happen when a team is, is put together. And Steve, they just couldn't reach that bar that was set so high for them. Yeah, the expectations were so high, Kevin, but uh, injury issues cost them all season long. Nash, Howard, and Powell, and of course Kobe with the Achilles at the end of the year. And that, that unit only started seven games all season together, so they never really were able to develop any chemistry. Outside, Russell, there's the pick. Pass to Wood. Back to Russell. Action Hall. He kicks to Hayes. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Berginus. Oklahoma City leading by three. Outside, Williams. Leads him in there. And he banks in the layup. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. Word pass to Russell. Will it go? Can't get it to go. Pokushinsky. Oh, he just knocked down the puzzle, Peter. Pretty shot without a second to spare. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Thunder. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And the other thing we're seeing is great ball movement. We're seeing a lot of good offensive execution, ball movement, player movement, setting up assists. It's stolen. Passes it to Mayhem. Reeves defended by Mann, and Russell gets it to go. Russell's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Lakers. The Thunder leading by four. The pass to Mann lets it go from deep. That's good. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come. But... And the shot's good from Reeves. They are absolutely stroking it from outside. I mean, textbook perfect. Good balance, nice high release, splash. There's a screen by Williams. Off the screen, the shot is off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Hachimura, he's guarded by Williams. Russell passes to Reeves. And it's off from three-point range. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Number 22. Now three off the mark. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. It's off his leg. And it's being called a kickball. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. LeBron outside. Just five on the clock. Reddish. Here's Davis. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Davis has got his first basket. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Pass to Alexander. Robinson inside. And he takes that one up and powers it through. 
Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. You know, every great player needs someone to push them to be better. LeBron said last year that you know, that's what Kevin Durant does with him. And I think he works as hard as he does knowing that Durant is coming to try to take his spot as the best player in the league. Back to Prince. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. That one goes. Count it. He has six. The Thunder with the lead. And going back to LeBron for the time being, he's solidifying Clark is standing. I think everyone would agree he's the best player in the NBA. Well, how about four league MVP trophies to his credit? One of only five players in league history to win that many. One of only a few players to be both MVP of the league and MVP of the finals in the same year. So, enough said. To the paint. Pass Holmgren. Rejected by LeBron. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post, Clark. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. And they double him up with LeBron. Picked his pocket. The pass to Alexander. Giddy. The dish now to Robinson. He passes Holmgren. Here's the three. And the rejection by LeBron. Stolen. Pass to Alexander. Hungering. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Reeves, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. It looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Everybody knows how brutal the Western Conference can be, and part of the reason the Lakers were able to make it to the playoffs is because they were above 500 in the West, which is pretty impressive. Here's Alexander, and it's sent back by Reeves. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Russell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Russell. And that'll be open on the city's ball as it goes out of bounds. Well, going back to the Lakers in the West, they would end with a 28-24 and 24 record, Steve, against the rest of the conference. That record falling right in line where they finished in relation to the rest of the West. Well, and that record was really the big reason that they were able to catch up to Utah and end up passing them for the last playoff spot. And, you know, Laker fans might not be happy with how quickly they exited the postseason, getting swept by the Spurs, but... You know, they did make a good push at the end of the season just to get in. I'll tell you, he had all the time in the world to get that shot off. Davis sets a screen. Shoots off the screen and blocked. Passes it to Alexander. Banked in off the glass. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Outside, Russell, from past the arc, blocked. But they get it there. Davis kicks to LeBron, feeds to Russell, just five to shoot. Beyond the arc, Los Angeles with another miss. Oklahoma City shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Here's Port. Robinson down low. Working on James. The shot and game clock separated by four. And he's good on the three ball. And now it's a three-point Thunder lead. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. It's Prince on the wing. Los Angeles with another miss. Here's Alexander. And there's another one for the Thunder. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Thunder lead by five.
And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Now, presented by Sprint. Hi and welcome. Halftime report coming your way with an excellent game going on in Oklahoma City. An impressive start for the Thunder. They've gotten a tremendous boost from their reserves going to them early in the game for production. And on the other hand, the Lakers are still alive. Hard to find a lot to like about their performance so far. They'll need to pay much better attention in the second half to the details. The details. A difficult first half for LeBron. He chucked up three after three and barely drew iron. Not exactly the way you want to win. Thanks for being with us. Now back to Oklahoma City as the third quarter gets underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. Kicks to Robinson. Gets the bucket. Robinson's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Thunder. Boy, a nice bucket. They are really playing intelligently here. And even though the lead's not large, they've definitely got the upper hand. Goes back up. They checked it by Hungry. Pointers continue to drop, the more you can sense the frustration coming from this defense. No question, no matter what they've thrown at them, they've not been able to take that shot away. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, he's one player who can get hot in a big hurry. It's like he has an on off switch, and once it gets flipped on, he's tough to stop. And what a maestro he is as well. I can't tell you how many times I've seen him throw what looks like a blind pass. And I wonder where it's going, and suddenly it's right on target in the hands of his teammates for a basket. Well, Thunder leading by nine. Hitting. And there's the pass. Holmgren puts up a three. Gets it to go. He has six. He's done a lot of good work with the ball. Really moving. But the, the ball and moving bodies getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get it. I mean, they're hitting their shots. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. Right around a minute and a half, played here in the third quarter. He dishes it to LeBron. Backs in. Here's Russell. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Russell's got four points this quarter. How about the response? Retaliation. Impressive, huh, guys? I'll say exactly that as well. Nice job to recover those three points right away. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Oklahoma City leading by nine. Here's Alexander. LeBron grabs the miss. LeBron's got three rebounds now in this one. Well, LeBron James was probably his best season statistically a year ago. I don't think there's any question about it, guys. I mean, certainly it was his most efficient offensive season. I mean, he had career highs of 56% shooting from the floor and 41% from long range. I don't know if we've seen a player of his size put together those kinds of numbers with the types of shots that he takes. I mean, just absolutely stunning what he did um, in terms of his efficiency last season. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Torch. He's guarded by Russell. Hitting. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. 
And for LeBron James, the season before last, he really focused on scoring in the post. You know, Steve, using his size and strength. And we've seen his field goal percentage climb as a result. Of the low post score, I think the selection, too, he shoots fewer three-pointers, but a higher percentage. So now, how do you guard the guy? He's got everything in the package. Lakers trail by eight. Pass to Prince. LeBron outside. He feeds it to Davis. Back to LeBron. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Reddish. And again, it's the Lakers. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Pass to Alexander. Giddy. Lock at six. Robinson a screen on LeBron. Releases. Nice shot from the lane. He's got eight. Lakers have gone three or six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. LeBron gets the screen from Russell. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Let's it go from the wing. The feed to Prince. Six on the shot clock. And those from 13. And there's another one for the Lakers. And he should thank the defense for those two points. Really, nobody paid him any mind there. Giddy covered by LeBron. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Lakers trail by six. Reddish. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. He's got 11. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Giddy covered by LeBron. Here's Port. No good with the triple. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run right now. LeBron drives in, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And now just a one-point Thunder lead. Well, he's established himself as one of the league's premier clutch performers. You know, with some unbelievable plays down the stretch of, of tight ball games. And here's another thing about him, Steve. Every time he gets his hands on the ball in the backcourt, he's a one-man fast break. Passes it Palmer and lets the three fly. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And Los Angeles with some changes. Thirty-five seconds left in the third quarter. Guys, this offense very effective. Going right at them. And, and this is where you just start picking apart the defense. And, and now you take their confidence away. You can really take control of this game. They set the pick. Five to shoot. Reed. And no good. Trying to use the glass. It's three on three on the fast break. It makes it off the glass. And the Thunder lead by three. Seven seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Russell. And no good trying to get that one. Three quarters of play and a close game here. It's the Thunder up three. We're going to step aside for just a second. But join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Thunder? With their rebound, and they've given themselves a lot of second chances. And it's really helpful. And another thing they're doing is really taking advantage of fast break opportunities, scoring some easy baskets. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. Good. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Hachimura. Back to Russell. From deep. But they recover it. Reeves the pass to Wood. 
Hachimura defended by Wiggins. The second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Four free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Both free throws good from Virgins. You know, free throw shooting is always critical in terms of outcomes of games. And the Thunder last year often had an advantage at the line. Not only did they get there at a high rate, they made their free throws at a high rate as well. Achimura defended by Wiggins. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Well, they couldn't hook up there on what really a pretty basic pass. And the Lakers making a change here. James is checked in. Oklahoma City leading by four. Best shooting team at the free throw line last season by a good margin. Clark, you're right. The Thunder shot 83% as a team. Very nice percentage for any player, much less an entire team, Steve. And actually the third best for a team in league history. And as we talked about earlier, Kevin, it wasn't just the, the makes, it was the attempts. I mean, this is a club that can slash and attack the basket. They finished second in the NBA in free throw attempts. So... What a combination to be able to get to the rim, get to the free throw line, and then convert. Pick by Williams, number 22. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Thunder lead by four. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks, just to get you some open looks like that one. Russell kicks to LeBron. Williams with the clock. A real difficult game for him offensively, and it's possible. Number 22, and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. LeBron with it, now guarded by Wiggins. LeBron drives in. He passes to Reeves. Here's Hayes, and uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. You know, offensively last season, guys, the Lakers just never seemed to be able to get out of their own way. I mean, they had the worst turnover ratio in the league, and they really struggled to take care of the ball, and even when they got up a shot, a lot of them were questionable shots. They shot the third most threes in the league, but we're in the bottom half of the league in percentage. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. There's a screen by Robinson. Now the pass to Alexander. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Williams attacking. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got rebound number five here tonight. And going back to the Lakers' offensive troubles last season, the worst free throw percentage, Steve, in the NBA. And obviously that's attributed directly to Dwight Howard because the Lakers also led the league in free throw attempts. So Howard was getting hacked. He really couldn't get it going. He made about half his free throws for the season. And that just really carried over into the team's performance. The Lakers making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Again, Russell missing. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, you can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Williams, a screen on Russell. Alexander passes to Williams. Shot clock at six. From outside the arc. Giddy. And he lays it straight in. Here is Russell. Action over. He's guarded by Williams. This is to LeBron. Terrific design on the big one. He lays it in. 
But Brian's got five points now in the quarter. It hasn't happened as quickly as he would have liked, but he's finally putting some points on the board in this game. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. During that break, the coach of the Thunder had some words for his team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let up out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. Holmgren. And so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Los Angeles has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. From the arc, and Russell with the basket on the assist by LeBron. With the second three-pointer of the half, fourth overall. So he's having a nice game from outside. He kicks it to Robinson. <laughs> One thirty left in the game. Great D that time from Davis. The dish to LeBron. Outside, Russell. Back to LeBron to tie it up. Another race by LeBron. Oklahoma City has gotten off four three players in the final quarter, and two of them are fine. Pass to Alexander. Feeds it to Robinson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And, uh, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. LeBron dishes to Davis. Back to LeBron. Rejected by Alexander. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Giddy. Makes the lead pass. And Robinson throws it down. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Here's Russell. Los Angeles with another miss. The Thunder have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. And an intentional foul right there. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Guys, no real chance for them to come back now. Nope, this one is sealed and delivered. Now you just want to you know, forget about this one, move on to the next game, and you got to try to get better at practice. and that narrows the gap to seven. And Los Angeles with some changes. He hits both from the strike. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And the Lakers call time here. They're behind by eight. 20 seconds left in the fourth. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Puts up a three. Rebound by Williams. Kicks it to Wallace. Oh, 
so it's Oklahoma City bringing the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just fake night sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke. This is Kevin Holland saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.